work very simple i think many of you say that it is very difficult to make muruk try this method is very easy very very quickly you can do it at home very easy okay okay see very crunchy let's have a look at the ingredients i have taken here one and a half cup of the rice flour now you see the rice flour what i have used is a normal idiyappam powder the nerapara one what i am using i have used it here okay i have not done anything the store bought rice powder this is okay one and a half cup i have taken half teaspoon of the jeera i'm just crushing it between my palms and just adding it so that it leaves its flavor more here okay i have here 3/4 cup of the uh, flour this is now the fried gram fried gram is is like puttu kadala we call it as okay that's a fried gram what i have done is just taken it and i have nicely finely powdered it for those of you who don't know or having confusions this is what i have taken about half cup and nicely powdered it and i made this uh, and i seeded it very well and i have added here ensure that you powder it fine do not please leave anything which is one or two not grounded then you need to nicely sieve it up and then add okay that's all we will need and we will need some oil what i have done is i have allow the oil heat very well from there i am taking little bit of hot oil and i have added here this is like this one small spoon it could be about 3 tablespoon okay and you can add about half teaspoon of the salt and a pinch of asafetida say about half teaspoon if you have mix all of this very well and uh, what you should do is add normal water normal regular drinking water not warm water nothing just the water and knead it into a soft dough it's not very tough to knead this very easily you see how soft the dough is become add as much as water you need and then knead it into a soft dough now what i'm going to do is mix it very well even at this stage when you are mixing just have an eye eat little and see there's enough salt in this if it is not there just add a little bit of salt and mix it nicely well and then we'll be needing this kind of a ring to make the murku ensure the ring is put inside like this into this here keep your ring there okay i have greased little bit of oil well into this Okay. Even this. Okay. Let the oil get heated. In the meanwhile, take one small bowl like this. Nicely make it, mix it well, and then put it into this mold. how much ever your mold can hold like if you see mine i have enough little more space so i'm just going to add that also into it okay into it and then we will leave this up use a spatula like this here and back of this spatula very easily you can just you see and then just join that there this is ready to go okay i'm going to just cover this up and keep so that it doesn't dry out oil is hot i'm slowly sliding it there okay and leaving it there to nicely get roasted in the oil there i have left so i'm going to make the rest of it keep the oil on a medium flame do not put it in the high and burn it too much once little while this is done this side then we will turn it to the other side and flip it across how do you know the muruk is done like when you see when the see now you see the bubbles coming like this once the bubble is reduced then your muruk is almost done like and then you can just take it out so that easy this muruk is to make 
okay now you allow it nicely roast both the sides put it on every side and nicely fry it up and take it out put it onto an absorbent paper see how it has settled that oil bubbling has stopped right now i'm going to take it out see how crisp it is looking now this is how i have taken it out just going to allow it on the paper in a while soon i will once it is cold i'll show you how crunchy and crispy the murka has turned out i have fried and taken it out everything here it's very hot some of them let me touch which is not cold hot and then show you how it has come out okay see very crunchy you cannot fail because it's so simple while making this murka there are a couple of things which you need to note okay do not add too much water and make it make the dough very very soft or over more than the chapati dough basically that's the consistency what you should but it should be soft little more i have you need for paratha something like that okay do not allow oh very hot do not allow it retain in the oil once the bubble is subsides don't allow it retain in the oil more make it brown and take it because after you take it from the oil and which is outside when we keep it it gets to get more color to it so you need not wait for it to get a brown color and then bring it out when you yourself will make out when you are just turning that side and this side it the the texture of the murukku is like very gooey gooey like when you instantly put it okay and that time you don't just immediately increase the flame or anything just keep the flame on low the medium light the what consistency you are heating the oil in the same thing you fry it and take it out and it will get done very well and when once you put the uh, the muruk into the oil immediately don't flip it because it is very gooey gooey it has to hold its consistency only then you can turn it then it will hold like this design if you uh, before try to turn it it will break okay so that thing also you have to be very careful check salt this muruk doesn't have spice if there is no salt in this it won't taste good because there isn't much of the other ingredients like spices or anything else only we have added is little bit of jeera and little bit of hing the flavoring and good amount of salt when you are when you are mixing the dough itself just taste and just put it in your mouth and see if the salt is just perfect enough for it if not you can add little more salt mix it then finally arrive at the kneading consistency of the dough so this is how we have made the murukku today i'm sure you will really enjoy making this at your home now kartika deepam is coming i'm sure all this you can make it very easily and so simple you don't have to go to store to buy the store bought one because they are so healthy the way what we are making at home with fresh ingredients you can make and you know you see almost like this big container i have got one big container i'm sure for a family of three this is more than enough So try making and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching me. Or happy cooking and happy munching. Bye bye.